Today I want to work on functional fitness. Now you hear that buzzword all the time. What does that mean? It means you being able to get through everyday activities because your body is strong. One of the best things that we do all day every day is squat. How do we do that? We sit in a chair and we get up every single day. Now perfect squat is when you sit in the chair and your feet are actually a little bit out in front of you. So your body is actually making its own chair. And then yeah, I want you to come up and we're just gonna tap that chair on the way down and come back up. Now, if squats are hard for you, I want you to come up a little bit and then take more of a seat, have a little rest, and then come back up. The stronger you get doing these, the less time you'll have to rest and the more it's gonna be a tap. Now, why do I want you to tap down? Because if I don't ask you to tap, your body's gonna do this, and that is not a squat. I want you down and coming down about that far. Ideally, you might have to work up to that, and that's totally okay. But we have to squat for the rest of our lives, so it's something we should be implementing into our workouts weekly, not daily, weekly. Let's do two more, and then we're gonna have some fun with balance. One more. Now hold it just above the seat if you can. If you can't, take a rest, just for five more minutes, just for a couple more minutes, seconds, and come on up. You might wanna shake that out a little bit. Now, I want you to stand behind the chair, right here so you can see, up nice and tall. I want all your weight on one leg. Your other leg is going to come up, if you need to touch for balance, you can hold on. We lose balance as we get older, 52, 53 this month, and it doesn't get better unless we work on it, just like our strength. I want you to implement balance exercises. This is going to be a quick five minute video. You can do this once or twice a week. We're just going to do two more. And you'll notice with your balance, just like your strength, one side is going to be easier to balance on. Now I always want you to have something to hold on to. To start, eventually, it might be very easy if you keep working on it. That's what we want. I do not want you to fall as you get older and break a bone or hip. That would be awful or a wrist. Now, be gentle with yourself and be kind because you might be wiggling and wobbling at first and that is totally normal. We just have two more just like that. Now this might sound funny. I want you to crouch down. What do you do when something's on the floor? You crouch down and you pick it up. If you do this, you might hurt your little back. So I don't ever want you to have straight legs and pick something up. So we have an imaginary bag on the ground, and you're going to pick it up. And then you're going to put it back on the ground, and you're going to pick it up. If you hear some snapping, some crackling, some popping from your knees, that's totally normal. We're not going to do too many more. This is a low squat, but when you come home from the grocery store, what do you do? Lift it down, lift it up. We all have to reach down. This is something you'll do probably for the rest of your life, hopefully, just two more or 200, whatever you want. Okay, one more balance and then we are done. I'm gonna turn your chair around. I want you to bring that left, let's start left foot back. Left foot back first, left arm out. And all I want you to do is to touch. Now your body is gonna to wanna to go quickly. I don't want you to use momentum. Super slow and in control. The only time I want you to go fast, is when you're doing cardio. Strength, functional work, balance work, it's always slow. Slow and in control. Now this might be really hard. That is okay, everybody is at their own level. When this gets easier, because it will, we're just gonna do one more, I want you to find a lower object to try to touch. And you can just shake it out a little bit, switch sides with the same hand as leg is back. I put my hand here, it can be out to the side, it can be up to the front, but I just keep it behind. And just like your other balance one in one leg, it's always gonna be easier. We all have a lead leg our whole lives. When we're little kids and you're racing, you're on the starting line, you always have one foot forward. That's gonna be your dominant side. So be kind to yourself when you wiggle and you wobble. Totally normal. We're just gonna do two more like that. Just one more. It's a nice straight line from your head all the way down to your heel. And we're gonna finish up with one more set of squats because they are so important. 
Remember, when you're squatting, feet out. Feet back here would, would really hurt your knees. I don't ever wanna hurt your knees. Up, now, if you're comfortable, just a little tiny tap. If you need a rest, rest and come back up. And if this seems super easy, you can go back and do it again. Make it a little harder. You could take that chair away and make that squat a little lower. Only if you want to though. But a squat is something we all should be doing every day, pretty much forever, right? Because we all have to sit down in a chair every day. Two more and we're gonna wrap it up. One more right here. Thank you so much for moving with me. Keep doing this at least weekly if you can. It will help long term, I promise.